Welcome to the 21st Sports Sunday Night Football Preview Show as we're going over all the games for Sunday Night Football in the 2015 NFL season. They released the schedules last week, and so now we're just going to go over all the games that they have for Sunday Night Football scheduled and what happened the last time the two teams met. So let's start off. First off, we have actually a Thursday night game. It's going to be on NBC. I also include it as a Thursday night football video, but I'll put it in here too because technically they're calling it Sunday night football even though it's on Thursday, and that's the game between the Steelers and the Patriots. The last time that these two teams faced was 2013 in Week 9, and the Patriots won 55-31. to so now to the first official Sunday night game on a Sunday night in week one, September 13th. We have the New York Giants versus the Dallas Cowboys. And last season, the Dallas Cowboys swept the season series as they won 31-21 at home and 31-28 on the road in New York. Then week two, September 20th, we have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Green Bay Packers. The last time these two teams faced off was in the NFC Conference Championship game, and the Seahawks won that 28-22 to in Seattle. So now they're going to be going to Green Bay in the rematch. So then week three, September 27th, we have the Denver Broncos versus the Detroit Lions. And the last time these two teams faced off was in 2011. And that was week eight, and the Detroit Lions won 45-10 to in Denver. Tim Tebow was the quarterback for the Broncos in that game, and Matthew Stafford threw three touchdowns versus the Broncos' defense. So I don't know how much bearing that one really has on it. It's been so long, and they didn't have Peyton. So, but back in uh, let's go to Week Four, October fourth, Dallas Cowboys versus the New Orleans Saints. And last year, when these two teams faced off, the Cowboys won 38 to 17. And that was in Dallas. So now they're going to be playing in New Orleans in the rematch from last year. Then in week five, October 11th, we have the San Francisco 49ers versus the New York Giants. And last year they faced off in week 11, and the Niners won 16 to 10 in New York. Then week six, and that's. October 18th, we have the New England Patriots versus the Indianapolis Colts in the rematch from the AFC Conference Championship game. And the Patriots won that one 45-7, and that was in New England. They also faced during the regular season in Week 11, and the Patriots won that one 42-20. Then in Week 7, October 25th, we have the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Carolina Panthers. Last year, these two teams faced off in Week 10, and the Philadelphia Eagles won 45-21. to That was in Philadelphia. This year will be in Carolina. Then Week 8, November 1st, we have the Green Bay Packers versus the, Detroit, the Denver Broncos. So the Packers and the Broncos going at it. And the last time these two teams faced was 2011, and Kyle Orton was the quarterback for the Broncos. The Green Bay Packers won that game 49-23. to Aaron Rodgers threw for over 400 yards and had four touchdowns in the game. It was four years ago, though, so how much of a bearing does that really have on this game coming up in this season? Not much, but uh, either way, we see the, the you know Green Bay did beat them back then. But anyway, Week 9, November 8th. We had the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. They split the season series last year. Is the Philadelphia Eagles won in Week 13 in Dallas, 33 to 10, and then the Cowboys won in Week 15 in Philadelphia, 38 to 27. So the road team winning both times, and their Sunday Night Football matchup will be in Dallas. Then in Week 10, November 15th, we have the Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks swept the season series last year. The Cardinals are actually in the driver's seat in the West until Seattle swept them first, beating them in Week 12 in Seattle, 19-3, and then really clinching the division in Week 16 with the win in Arizona, 35-6. Then in Week 11, we have... On November 22nd, the Kansas City Chiefs at the San Diego Chargers. 
The Chiefs swept the Chargers last year as they beat them 23-20 to in Week 7 in San Diego, and then they won in Kansas City in the final week of the season, Week 17, 19-7. to In Week 12, November 26th, that's Thanksgiving, and again, that's a Thursday night, but it'll be on NBC, so it's technically called Sunday Night Football, although it's on a Thursday. But that's going to be the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. Last year, the Packers swept the season series. They won 38-17 to in Chicago and 55-14 to in Green Bay. That's when Aaron Rodgers threw six touchdowns in the first half. So then we have uh, Week 12, November 29th. And it's the New England Patriots versus the Denver Broncos in Brady versus Manning 17. Last year, New England won in Week 9, 43 to 21. And overall, Brady owns Manning 11 to 5 in the series between the two. So they've faced off 16 times. Brady's won 11. Peyton's won 5. Week 13, December 6th, Indianapolis Colts versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last year, the Steelers won 51-34, to and that was a game that Ben Roethlisberger threw six touchdowns in. Then week 14, December 13th, we have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Baltimore Ravens. The last time these two teams faced was in 2011 in week 10, and the Seattle Seahawks won that game 22-17. to Beast mode Marshawn Lynch had 109 yards in that game and a touchdown, and the quarterback for the Seahawks was Tavares Jackson, as uh, Russell Wilson was not behind center yet. So then week 15, December 20th, we have the Cincinnati Bengals versus the San Francisco 49ers. And this these two teams are another matchup that hasn't happened since 2011. And that was week three. The Niners won that one 13-8 in Cincinnati. Alex Smith was the quarterback for the Niners at that time. And uh, 13-8, that sounds like a baseball score between the Giants and the Reds. But no, it was a football game between the Bengals and the 49ers. And the final Sunday night football game for 2015 will be in Week 16, December 27th. And it will be the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens in a rematch from last year's AFC wildcard game. They also played two games in the regular season. The wildcard game, Baltimore won that one, 30-17 in Pittsburgh. During the regular season, the two teams split with the home team winning each of those games as Baltimore won in Week 2, 26-6, and Pittsburgh won in Week 9, 43-23. But as I said, Baltimore, though, was able to beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh in the playoffs. So the home team won in the regular season, but in the playoffs, the Ravens won on the road. So that's your full schedule for Sunday Night Football for 2015. Let me know in the comments section below what game you're looking forward to out of these Sunday night football games. Also keep an eye out for the Monday night football preview as we're going to be going over every game for the Monday night football schedule. And we will also be going over every single team schedule. So keep an eye out for those as well. But as I said, let me know in the comments section below what games you're looking forward to out of this Sunday night football schedule. They all look really good to me. You know, it's uh, that's how the Sunday Night Football, they try to get the best games. And we definitely got some really good matchups. And we got some rematches from some good games from last year. So that'll be definitely fun to watch. You know, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, of course, Pittsburgh, New England starts things off. But then we got the Giants and the Cowboys in the first official one. That's always a good game, no matter what. You know, no matter their records, and of course this is the first game, so they'll both be 0-0 uh, <laughs> at the starting off. So it'll definitely be important for both teams how they start their season. And of course, the you know uh, Seahawks and Packers, that's always like a classic game. They've got a very heated rivalry between the two teams, and every time they get on the field together... It's something that you, it's like must see TV. You gotta watch when those two teams are out there. I mean, I watch even when it's uh, you know the Jaguars and the Texans, but or the Titans, whatever doesn't matter. I watch any teams play, but that one is one like you know you keep your eyes peeled. Like you will not miss a moment of Seattle versus Green Bay. Also, I mean Denver, Detroit. That should be a fun game. 
definitely looking forward to seeing that Peyton Manning versus Matthew Stafford. You know, Peyton Manning, it's, you know, he's near the end of his career. He's a Hall of Famer, you know, and Matthew Stafford, he's just entering his prime. He's already thrown for 5,000 years previously. So we'll see, you know, moving forward. I'm expecting Stafford to have a big season this year for the Lions. You know, in uh, Dallas, New Orleans, that should be a good one too. See if New Orleans can bounce back from last year. Of course, the Cowboys, even without Murray, are going to be, you know, a team that people are going to be looking to make a run. Tony Romo already guaranteed the Super Bowl just recently. Just saw that the other day that he was accepting an award and he guaranteed they're going to win the Super Bowl. So that's high expectations as always for the Cowboys. And then San Francisco, New York, that's always a classic battle going back like forever. As long as I've been watching football, San Francisco and New York, it's always a good game. And that's another one where it doesn't matter what their records are. They always put on a good show. It's always fun to watch. And, of course, New England and Indianapolis, that's another one, a classic rivalry, always really good games. You know, Philly, Carolina, you know, see, uh, that should be a good game, actually, too. You know, and it'd be, anything Philly is going to be fun to watch this year to see how they do, you know, with how they've made some really big moves in the off season. Of course, Carolina, you know, uh, they somehow, some way pulled it off last year to win the division. We'll see if they can come back and do it again this year. Then uh, Green Bay and Denver, that's always a really good one. Aaron Rodgers versus Peyton, you know, Peyton uh, in Denver. It's, he's going to have to bring his A game against Aaron Rodgers. As again, there's one, you know, Aaron Rodgers in his prime versus the Hall of Famer who's on his way out. You know, and then Philly Dallas, that's always a classic one. Those are like freaking phew, always hard nose, smash mouth football between the Eagles and the Cowboys for sure, going way back to as long as I can remember. In uh, Arizona, Seattle, that is definitely turned into a really good rivalry. You know, the Cardinals got swept last year, but they had the inside track on the West. You know that they really are going to be making a run for it this year. In Seattle, of course, they want to get back to where they've been the last couple years, and that's the Super Bowl. Will they be able to make it to three straight? We'll see. It'll be interesting to watch them try to get there. They could. They got the talent, but Arizona is a very talented team as well. Kansas City and San Diego is another really good matchup, always is. Same thing with Chicago Green Bay, another great division rivalry. Then, of course, Brady Manning, 17. How can you have Sunday Night Football without Brady versus Manning? <laughs> you know, especially that's on the schedule. You know, that's going to be in prime time, either Sunday night or Monday night. And usually Sunday night, that's where you want it. And then, uh, you know, Indy Pittsburgh, that's another one. That's going to be interesting to see the rematch of that, you know. Ben Roethlisberger with those six touchdowns against the Colts. And, you know, Andrew Luck can throw touchdowns. So should see a lot of offense in that game. It'll be a fun one to watch. And then Seattle-Baltimore, two of the best defenses of the last, you know, few years. And then Cincinnati and San Fran. That's a rematch of the Super Bowl from way back when. Super Bowl, uh, what was this, back in 89. I forget which. And they also, they had a couple Super Bowls where it was Cincinnati versus San Fran. Actually, both times San Fran beat them. But um, I think it was like Kenny Anderson was the quarterback for the Bengals the first time and then Boomer Esiason the second time. Both times, I'm pretty sure it was Joe Montana. I'm almost 100% positive. <laughs> Joe Montana was the one that beat them both times. The recording cut off right there. It does that sometimes. Uh, I guess I went on for too long. <laughs> In the program I used, to just cut me off. But that's all right. I was pretty much done other than to close it out by saying to leave a comment to let me know what it was that you thought was the game that stuck out to you, what game you're looking forward to out of this schedule. Very interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and have a good weekend and enjoy all the sports.